Hello everyone, Walid here again. And now that we have created our first bare bones Maven project that we could just run out of the box, the time has come to ask Maven to get the required dependencies for us. And here in this project, let's say we want to connect to a MySQL database. So in a traditional way, in the traditional manner, what you would have done is you would have gone to your favorite search engine, searched for the term that is MySQL connector jar download. And then you would have gone to the official website of MySQL, downloaded the recent and the latest jar file on your system, and then added it to your class path through the build path option in Eclipse. But now the Maven way. The Maven way, as you'll see shortly, is much faster, convenient, efficient, and friendly as well. And in the meantime, as my friend Steffi did, you can just chill out with some good coffee and some good music your way, right? So how do we do that in Maven, guys, right? So the first thing we'll do is we'll just head over to our search engine and then I can just search for Maven MySQL connector. Hit enter. You don't need to go to the official site. You don't need to search for the official site first, right? So here we go. There is a menrepository.com that is the website, right? That is a third party website. But you can go to the Maven central repository, as they like to call it, where you find all the Maven related dependencies. But I personally prefer typing it in the search engine. That is much faster, right? And often I get the results with this really cool website that is mvnrepository.com that has almost all the Maven dependencies you require. So just click on this and select any version that you like to add. Let's say 8.0.22. I'll just click on this and there you go. Maven dependency, guys, with the group ID, artifact ID, version number for MySQL connector J. All you need to do is click on this and it says copy to clipboard. And then head over back to Eclipse and just go to your pom.xml and in the dependency section, just paste this dependency for MySQL connector J. So when you'd save this, right, what would happen is this is your list. This is the list that Stephanie handed over to Mr. Maven at the supermarket. And here we have the pom.xml. And in the dependency section, we paste the dependencies which we want Maven to get for us, that is download for us and add it to the class path. The benefits you don't need to go to different corners of the supermarket. And here, you don't need to go to different corners of the internet, search for your particular dependencies, and then download them, then add it to the class path. No, just mention the item to get. And here, that is MySQL Connector Java. Just put it in pom.xml. The moment you save it, Maven is going to download the jar files for you. And there are, if there are any additional jar files that you would require to work with MySQL, Maven is intelligent enough to get those as well, guys. Right. Just hit save. It would download them for you. Put them in the local repository so that the next time you want to connect to a MySQL database from your Java code, it is not going to get it again from the internet. It would first search the local repository. If it finds it there, that is where it gets it from. Right. That is quite a smart guy, this, this guy Maven is. Hit save and just check the progress at the bottom. It says building 83%. In the meantime, you can, as my friend Steffi did, grab a cup of coffee. And see, in a few seconds it's done. And just see, there's a change in the project structure. There is this section Maven dependencies created for you. And just expand that. You see my SQL connector Java and protopuff Java, the version.jar. You just asked for MySQL Connector Java. It got it for you, downloaded, put in the local repository, and then added it to the class path as well. And also got an additional dependency that you might require for working with MySQL databases. And all the while, you were just having fun with some music and, and having some really cool uh, coffee, guys. That is the advantage of Maven. And now, guess what? You are ready to start working with a MySQL database. That's all it takes, the Maven way. And let me give you another example. Let's see. Let's say I want to use Spring here as well in this project, this Maven project, right? 
I want to work with Spring as with a framework which is the topmost framework in the Java community over the last few years. Right. Again, you don't need to go to the official site. You do not need to go to the search engine and search for the official site first and then go to the different section that is download, uh, which says download the jar files and then add it to the class path. No, just head over to your search engine again and I'll just say that's how I do it. Otherwise, as I said, you can go to the central repository, get it from there, there as well. But this is my personal, personal way of doing it. It's much faster, right? I'll say maven spring core. That is the first dependency that we require. Again, MVN repository has it all. And I'll just search for 5.3.5, for example, and then just copy the Maven dependency, head over back to Eclipse and just paste it below my SQL connector Java or above that, doesn't matter. Sequence doesn't matter here. And then paste it in the dependency section. And the second one we get for Spring generally is, I'll say Maven on my search engine again, Spring hyphen Again, you get it from MVN repository, such a handy website this is. So I'll just get the same version for compatibility, copy this, and again, head over back to Eclipse and paste it in the dependency section like you did with the Spring Core and the MySQL connector Java. When you hit save, Maven is going to get the Spring Core Spring Context Jar files for you and any additional dependencies as well. As I said, Maven does the job intelligently. I'll hit save, just check the progress at the bottom and after a few seconds off you go. Earlier, we just had a couple of files, but now you just asked for context and core, but Maven, the intelligent guy Maven has got AOP, Beans, Expression and JCL jar files for you and even edit them to the class path, right? That is the Maven way. This project is now ready. As I said in the previous video, that is in just a few seconds, your your project is ready to work with the relevant stuff. In this case, it is Spring and MySQL, right? Our project is absolutely ready to take on the world, guys. That is the Maven way. So at the end, I like to wrap it up again with the steps needed. For example, your project, you want to write some MySQL database specific code as well as some Spring specific code. All you need to do is go to pom.xml, add the dependencies for MySQL as well as for Spring Core and Spring Context. And then off you go in your app.java or with a new file that you would create, you're ready to work with a MySQL database and Spring from your Java Maven project, guys. Right. That's why we referred to Maven as a superhero in the last video. Right. So that is me wrapping up the Maven series. I hope you were able to understand the workflow of how Maven works. Why do we use Maven and why Maven is one of the most in demand tools in the Java community, in the Java ecosystem, guys. We use Maven a lot. These days, I'll tell you, it is a number one project management and build tool for Java developers, as well as you can use Maven in other languages as well. So I hope. I hope you had a good time and I'll see you in the next series, guys.